Tonight you might be going through something, but remember, God is able. Hallelujah. It might, might look hard and it's like nothing is working out in your favor, but remember, God is able. Praise the Lord Jesus. And at this time, I'm going to be reading from Hebrews 12, from verse 1, from verse 1 to about 14. Praise the Lord. And I'll begin. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth easily, which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross such contradiction of sinners against himself lest he be wearied and faint in your minds ye have not yet resisted unto blood striving against sin and ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children my son Despise not thou the chasing of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. If he endure chastening, God dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the Father chasteneth not? For if he be without chastisement, whereof, he are, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh, which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much, more ra much rather be in subjection unto the father of spirits and live? For they verily for a few days chasten us after their own pleasure, but he for our profit, that we might be partakers of his holiness. No, no chasing for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward it yielded the peace of a fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Wherefore, lift up the hands which hang down, and the feeble knees, and make straight paths for your feet, lest that which be lame be turned out of the way, but let it rather be healed. Verse 14, follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Praise the Lord. Aaron is a reading of a portion of God's holy word. Praise the Lord. I will sing, sing unto the Lord. For he has bountifully dealt with me. I will sing, sing unto the Lord. For he has bountifully dealt with me. I will sing, sing unto the Lord. For he has bountifully dealt with me. Lord, for he has bountifully dealt with 
praise the Lord Jesus. And at this time, I'll be handing over to Evangelist McTavish in Jesus' name. The Lord, everybody, praise the Lord. Can we just open our mics and give the Lord a shout of praise in the house tonight? Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Awesome God! Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! He's worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun, even unto the going down of the very same. Tonight, I want to take this privilege to greet our pastor, Bishop Thorpe. Greetings to Evangelist Thorpe, his wife, to Elder Fagan and family that is online, um, to Missioner Brown. And I am not sure if our general secretary is online. Uh, let's just check to see what if she's there. Greetings to her as well. And all of the officers, brethren, visiting friends, everyone that is present, greetings to our technical director, the Romy as well, and all of those persons that are working in the scenes in the back to ensure that we have our virtual service running. And so truly tonight, we are giving God thanks. We are going to go into testimonies at this time. Of course, we'll invite the ministers afterwards to testify. And so we will ask Sister Christine if she can lead us into some testimonies at this time. Sister Christine? Yes, sir. Yes, you can go ahead. Okay, thank you. I will sing, sing on sing. to the Lord, for he has bountifully dealt with me. I will sing, sing on to the Lord, for he has bountifully dealt with me. I will sing, sing on to the Lord, for he has bountifully dealt with me. I will sing, sing on to the Lord, for he has bountifully dealt with me. Someone testify, please, in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. I'm glad to be online tonight. I was at work all day. No lunch time, work through the day. But thank God, I'm here. So I give God thanks all the way. Amen. Another testimony, please. Everybody. God has been so good, wonderfully good to me. I cannot and I won't complain. Amen. Ramon, Another one. Go ahead. Praise the Lord. I give God the praise to the Lord. I'm giving thanks to the Lord. The Lord has used me today. And I tell the truth, I just have sent to Sister Mark for the Lord that used me today. It's the first I ever sing that song. I sing out that song with all I got. And it was a wonderful blessing. I enjoyed today's service. And I'm asking the God, the Lord, to continue to use me to sing the songs of Zion. Continue. All right. When I look back over my life and I think things over, I can truly say that I've been blessed. I am a testimony. When I look back over my life and I think things over, I can truly say that I've been blessed. I am a testimony. When I look back over my life and I think things over, I can truly say that I've been blessed. I am a testimony. Someone else go ahead and testify. service. God is truly amazing. He is. 
Anyone else? Going once, twice. Okay, we've come to the end of our testimony and I would like to say this past week has been a trying week for me, but through it all, I am learning to lean on Jesus. I am learning to trust his word and I'm remaining faithful to him because I know he will grant that which he has promised me. I encourage you all to remain faithful to Jesus and you too will see that it's a wonderful thing to trust in him. I'll hand over back to our evangelist, Atabish, in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Thank you, Sister Christine, for leading us into the testimony services that we had. And for those who participated in testimony, at this time, we are going to be hearing from our ministers. We we'll start off firstly with our pastor as he comes and greet us. Praise the Lord. Jesus, thank you, Evangelist Matavis. Greetings to everyone tonight in the name of the Lord. I'm so glad to be here again, and I consider the house of the Lord, wherever we our voices are, where the two and the three meet. Amen. Lord is there to bless. I'm still thinking of the word today that said, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. I'm looking at the good times, I'm looking at the bad times. My desire is to keep praising God as my story and my song. God bless you all. Let's have a wonderful time tonight in the presence of the Lord. God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, sir. Evangelist Star, give us your greetings, please. Thank you, sir. Greetings, sir. Um, all sort of faith all the time. I bless you, the Lord. Yes, God has been so good to me that I can't complain. And you know, I've been on this Christian path for a mighty long time. And for that, I am not disappointed. God has been so good to me. And because of that, I'm determined to hold out to the end. He is with me, on him I can depend. I know I have his salvation in my soul. And as long as I remain faithful, he always remain faithful to me as well. My ambition is going to trust in him. Because he has been favorable to me. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Evangelist Stop. Um, Elder Fagan, you can go ahead and greet us, and followed by Sister Fagan as well. Praise the Lord, everybody. I'm so glad that the Lord has called me from nature's darkness into his marvelous light of salvation. Because of that, I have a hope of being with him through the countless ages of eternity. I want to cherish the hope of eternity. Praise the Lord Jesus. Greetings to all of you, my brethren, in the wonderful name of the Lord. Truly, I am giving the Lord thanks for life and for the privilege to serve him. You know, and I'm going to be able to say, hallelujah, anyhow, I will never let my problems get me down. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Missionary Brown, you can go ahead and give us your, your greetings. Praise the Lord Jesus. Tonight, I just want to greet everyone in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Redeem when my burden of sin was I. Redeem when my soul condemned to die. Redeem for the price I could not pay. Tonight, I owe a debt that I cannot pay and will never able to pray. But my desire is to continue to take up the cup of salvation and just to call upon the mighty name of my God. Thank you, brethren. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Thank you for all those, for all the greetings and the testimonies that we have heard from our various ministers and officers. And truly tonight, we are giving God thanks. You know, the Bible says we overcome the dragon by the word of our testimonies and also by the blood of the lamb. And so every time we get a chance to say something of the goodness of the Lord, we should make use of the opportunity. 
There are so many persons that would like to be able to speak or to move or to do something. And because of ill health or whatever the situation Amen. are unable so to do. So when we get a chance to, you know, give God praise and to say something about the goodness of God, we should make use of that opportunity. Um, we are moving along and we are aware that we are relatively early, but seeing that we are not extending the services because we do know we had two services today and the persons are also, you know, can become a little tired at times. So we want to, at this time, bring up our speaker for the night, um, familiar person to us. She is our assistant youth president. She is an usher. She's a Sunday school teacher. She is a hardened worker, someone that loves the Lord and someone that is faithful. This person I'm talking about is none other person than our own sister, Heather Lewis. And as she comes, can we just open our mics and give the Lord a praise? Can we receive her with a shout of praise and an amen? Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Greetings to our pastor. Praise the Lord, Bishop Thor, Evangelist Thor. Praise the Lord, Elder Fagan, Missionary Brown, and to our moderator, Evangelist Maktavish. And to all my wonderful children. In the name of Jesus, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, will you turn with me to St. Luke chapter 10. St. Luke chapter 10, reading from verse 39 to verse 42. St. Luke chapter 10, verse 39 to verse 42. Praise the Lord. I will read. And she praise a little up to verse 38 instead. Yes. Now it came to pass as they went that he entered into a certain village, and a certain woman named Martha received him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, which also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was cumbered about much serving and came to him and said, Lord, dost thou not care that my sister had left me to serve alone? Bid her therefore that she help me. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and trouble about many things, but one thing is needful. And Mary has chosen that good power, we shall not be taken from her. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, I am nothing before you, Lord. Lord Jesus, I pray you wash me, pray you cleanse me, Lord. Lord Jesus, let me over be a vessel that can be put of you tonight. To you be all honor, glory, and praise in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. You know, the key word um, is chosen, praise the Lord. And I love the word needful, and I love the word chosen, and the good part. You know, if we should go in creation, when the Lord creates Adam and Eve, praise the Lord, and we tell them about the tree of life and the tree of knowledge, good and evil, I know, um, they choose to eat of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. So you see where man was given a choice, praise the Lord Jesus. And before I go there, even the Lord himself, he said, we have not chosen him, but he has chosen us that we should go there and bring fruit, bear fruit, and that our fruit shall remain. Praise the Lord. Remember Jeremiah, when Jeremiah was saying, I'm just a child, the Lord said, I've chosen you to be a 
profit crazy. So the see the law he was when he was when he and hurt, he was when he was working, he just showed praise the law. So I see the law do some choosing there. And a the songwriter said, out of the millions, billions of people in this world, the Lord has chosen and for him I die. So you see, and our part now with the Lord said in St. John 3 verse 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. So see that choice come there, right? The whosoever. So today, man has given a choice. And we know that for sure, because we know that the Lord has chosen us, but we also chose him. Just like tonight, you have chosen to come online. <laughs> he didn't want to come. He just said, I'm not coming. That's choice. Praise the Lord Jesus. So, you know, all of us has given that choice to choose. Praise the Lord. But I love this story with Martha and her sister. You know, Verse 39 said, and she had a sister called Mary, which also sat, look where Mary sat, at Jesus' feet and heard his word. We know that the word now, remember the Lord said, his word is life and their spirit. And just like the physical man, if we don't eat food, you know, we get sick and weak and cannot function. So. I says, oh, the word is a new trend to the spiritual man. We have to, you know, study the word. Sometimes that's the, the greatest, um, what they call it, you know, fight. Because sometimes when you take up your Bible, you read every other thing. Maybe you're watching the TV, you don't want to see. But when, as soon as you take up the Bible, something concerning to God, you want to sleep and you have to fight through that. So because the word of God is so important. But look at, it's about Martha was cumbered about much. So Martha was the one that do the serving. You know, the two of them live in the house, but Martha, no, she was, you know, careful of the house, see tied up the house, washing the dishes and see that everything is in place. So when she looked now and she see, her sister Mary you now sitting down. So you know that people are like that. <laughs> they don't go and say, Oh, me alone, I make her do everything. You know, I just said, Come and help my man. So that's what um, Martha was saying. Because she see you now she's washing the dishes. Maybe she was doing all the work. But when she looked, she said, Mary sits at the feet of Jesus, listening to his word. I listen to what she said. But Martha was cumbered and much more served and came to him and said, Lord, does not care that my sister had left me. And what she was saying, um, Lord, I cannot tell my sister. You don't see me alone. I do all the work. Can't you tell her to come and help me? That's what she was telling the Lord. But look at Jesus' response. Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha. Thou art careful and troubled about many things. So what God was saying, Martha, you're, you're, you're just stuck up with everything. Because look at it now, Bridget. The word, which is God, is in the house. Praise the Lord. And Mary, I don't know, Mary might, might say, I don't know if he will ever come back to our house. Praise the Lord Jesus. So if the word come to the house, she have to get it. Praise the Lord. So you can't let the word depart. Praise the Lord. So Martha was take up with the physical things. Praise the Lord. But Mary was taken up with the spiritual thing that is the word that is going to keep her. And listen to what Jesus said again. But one thing is needful. You see that word needs. You see? Um, the word is needful brethren we have to have the word the word is needful is a need is a you know spiritual strength nourishment to our soul praise the lord jesus praise the lord need because you have needs i have wants 
want is something that you don't, you have it, but you want to want another one. But need is when you need is when a person in need, a person need that something. No, praise the Lord. And the Lord said, needful and Mary has chosen that good part. Praise the Lord. We shall not be taken away from her. Praise the Lord, Bridging. So Bridging, what, the, what, I, what I look at again is prioritize. Praise the Lord. Mary prioritized God. She prioritized the things of God. Praise the Lord, Jesus. So yes, she know that the place one tied your point, but that can't stay for another day. Jesus is in the house now. Praise the Lord. It's time to you know attention must be given to the Lord now. The word is in the house. In the beginning was the word, the word was God. God is the word and she's listening to Jesus who's the word and he's speaking the word, praise the Lord. And he's a written word, a spoken word, praise the Lord Jesus. So he's dear and she's just eating up the word while her sister is just miserable and I said, come, she come help me and what the Lord respond. She has chosen the thing that is needful. She has chosen the better part, good part which cannot be taken away from her. Praise the Lord Jesus. So, Bridget, we have the word. David said, thy word have hid in my heart that I may not sin against God. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Remember when Peter was fishing, praise the Lord, all the day long, and he, he didn't cast any fish. Praise the Lord Jesus. And the Lord said, come, cast a neck on that side. Remember now he's a fisherman and he know we are to cast a neck. But guess what? You know that the Lord is no ordinary man. Praise the Lord Jesus. So anything God said, and when Peter respond was, nevertheless, Lord, me know me tile all night. Me know so never catch of it, but your word said, praise the Lord Jesus, your word said to us on the other side. And, and Peter said, nevertheless, at thy word. And Peter let down, and we know the rest. Oh, the, 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 the catch so much fish till it. <clears throat> Sheep break and have to call them other partner. But in the word, praise the Lord Jesus. And I'm speaking to myself, Bridget. You know, the word is life. And when we have the word, we have the call. That's it. when we have the word, no Bridget, and anything come upon us as child of God, praise the Lord Jesus. We can use the word against the enemy. Praise the Lord Jesus. Remember the Lord when he was tempted, he did a it, look at what the Lord, just the word him use, get thee behind me, Satan. Thou shalt worship the Lord, only him, and thou shalt be served. And thou shalt not tempt the Lord. So you see, the Lord used the word. The Lord never, you know, no. Every, every, um, just, they're calling, get ignorant, no, the word of God. So, Bridget, if we can, you know, prioritize and put the Lord first, praise the Lord. Because Bridget, plenty of things is competing with the word and time. And Bridget, we have to make the time for sure. Because Bridget, if you don't mind sharp the truth, sometimes you get up, you don't read the Bible for the world because you're busy, you're going to work. And you know, in worse in this pandemic, things are different now. So Bridget, we have to make time out, you know, to have the word of God, to read it, to study as our pastor, we say, let your Bible be your friend. Praise the Lord Jesus. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying. But, but I know whenever, you know, it does something, just sleep and sometimes you have to wash your face and so forth. But Brethren, I love the word. Mary, she have chose, she sit down. So all when Martha do other things, she not busy about that. That can't stay for that time. She was just eating. She was just drinking. She was just meditating upon the word of God. And the Lord said, it cannot be taken. So the songwriter said, you can't take away my house, my car, but you cannot take away my Lord. You cannot take the word from me. You cannot take my Lord from me. You cannot take the word out of my heart. Praise the Lord. When Paul and Silas was in prison, they locked them up, but the word of God was in them. So they them started to sing praises unto God. Praise the Lord Jesus. So the word, brethren, let us put emphasis on it. Let us prioritize him. Let us put him first. Let us put him first. Virgin, I can't speak for mine. 
It's like with me now. <laughs> I was saying to her sister today, she was talking to me when I was coming from church. And she was talking about her husband. And I was said to her, so I remember when my husband tell me that I go to church more than Jesus Christ. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And I know why he said that because Virgin, I don't know, but it's like, Virgin, I have to be sick. And can't go to Canada come to church. Virgin, I love God. I love the house of God. That is my Virgin. I don't go anywhere more than church, you know. Believe me. I don't go anywhere more than church. Praise the Lord Jesus. It's like in January, I miss my daughter. She had to carry me out somewhere for my birthday because she knew the birthday will stay right here. The birthday fall upon church and coming. That's me. Praise the Lord. So Virgin, because when I look back, Virgin, and see where the Lord has taken me from, praise the Lord Jesus, what he has done. Virgin, the song I said, oh, can I ever honor him enough, glory, for all that he has done for me. I will offer up thanksgiving from my heart and praise him continually. Virgin, let us show the good part. Let us cling to jesus that he is the word hallelujah it doesn't matter what is going on we are in a pandemic let us hold on on the word praise the lord and know the word of god said nothing will harm us he said they will take care of us praise the lord jesus i know i see an article come in the church group and i was even reading it with the man with the little boy asked oh what is the size of god and the father responded if you can see the plane and it was the, the gist of it is the more closer you get to God, the more bigger he is. Praise the Lord. But the more further, he's smaller. And I was really blessed by Bridging. Praise the Lord. So Bridging, let us choose, you know, let us make the things of God be priority to us. Praise the Lord Jesus. You know, we have to make the time. Praise the Lord Jesus. We have to make the time to read the Bible. We have to make time to fast. Praise the Lord. We have to make time. You know, if we give God some time, because Bridging is I'm speaking to myself, really. It's 24 hours in the day, Bridget. And sometimes if we check how many times we have given to the Lord. Because we go to work and we're so busy, Bridget. And out of that 24 hours for the day, if we could honestly check and see why, maybe a minute. Sometimes God gets less. Because as we get up in the morning, we're rushing to work or we have to go work from home. We have to just get on and we work right through. Praise the Lord Jesus. And sometimes you look, you're tired and in the night you go to bed and if and the cycle continues. So Bridget, if you don't mindful, the Lord will be just less, 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 less. And then we start to get weary. Praise the Lord. Bridget, we cannot be weary in well-doing. Praise the Lord Jesus. We want to know, stay focused, prioritize, put God first. Bridget, Put God first in everything at all times. God must be a center. One song that I said, I choose you again and again. You mean so much to me, dear Lord. Virgin, that's my song. Virgin, the Lord means so much to me. The song I said, no foreign God, hallelujah, can take a place, glory. Oh, hallelujah belongs to him. Praise the Lord Jesus. He is our praise. Virgin God is awesome. He is wonderful. Lord, let nothing take God's place. No foreign. God. Let nothing, you know, in, in time and always too busy and forget the river. You know, let us have that, you know. Concentration with God, that's the word. Relations, where I see all things say, never tied your pants. Nothing is wrong with that, you know. Sometimes those things, Virgin, you know what happened to me sometimes? Sometimes when I'm here, and Virgin, if I don't want, I have a style. If I don't want to do anything, I don't do anything. That's me. If I'm tired, I just go to my bed. I leave everything. That's me. Praise the Lord Jesus. So, Bridget and I something. Yeah, but when I look, I said, hey, these things are just for our time. Why kill up myself? If I get more closer to God, want to work for God, 
witness to more people. That's prioritizing, telling people about God, inviting people, you know, we can really have everybody to share, but give them Ray. I was, we are a friend I, and I give them our link to church service. So Virgin, that's the thing I'm talking about, you know, working for God, have that passion, have that desire to, you know, to work for him. When everything, yes, we have a normal work, but let us ensure that our prioritize Jesus is first, he's in our center. Not when things is going bad, we're going to him and call, no, like, no, we want to be there. Have that personal relationship with him. He always will be first in our life. Praise the Lord. You ever hear some people? I was at, I was at work and somebody was saying um, that the one lady said her child is their heartbeat and their word. And, and I said, No, I love my daughter, but Jesus, she know that Jesus is my heartbeat. He is. My everything, Regine, God knows my heart. And I, I always want to be true to him. And things that are not right, I always ask him to help me to make it right. Because Virgin, God is good. He deserves the glory. He deserves the honor. And he, he deserves the praise. Virgin, God, sometimes I said, God, sometimes I, I sit here and I said, God, I remember many things that you have done for me and you came through for me. Virgin, tonight, let us prioritize. Let us choose the things of God over everything else in our life. Praise the Lord. They are secondary. Hallelujah. Oh, God. As Father said, there is no what first. Is there no what second? God is no second. No. God is first at all times first in our life. Praise the Lord Jesus. And Bridget, I tell you something. When you put God first, you can rest assured. You, you would never be ashamed, Bridget. God always look out for you, know, Bridget. Yes. And it says, if you honor God, God honor you. So if we take care of God's business, praise the Lord. God will take care of us, Bridget. And that is so true. If we put him first in all, whether as the world goes today, in good times and in bad times, put him first, regardless of the situation, he will come true because our God is faithful and he's just. And Bridget, I just want to encourage our heart. Let's, let's not hold on to this man, Jesus. And let us stay focused and let us, in our circle, do what we can do. Evangelize, tell somebody about God. And Bridget, let's see what is happening in this pandemic. Praise the Lord. More people, Virgin, is hearing the gospel because it's spreading. Praise the Lord Jesus. So we have power. Oh, we don't have to be a pastor or evangelist to tell somebody about God. No, we just spread it. That's what, what Sister Began preached last week. I was really blessed to fulfill our ministry, to do something for God. That's Virgin, sometimes, sometimes I don't have no word and I said God give me a word and sometimes I sit and I said God give and I read the Bible and a word that came out you choose a word for the present I always want to do something for God that's me because God has been faithful to me I want to be faithful to him God bless you tonight in Jesus name praise the Lord